Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this third video of joint products and byproduct chapter, we are going to understand the sales value method. And you know, there are two types of sales value method, sales value at split off point and sales value after further processing, okay? So let me just show you over here, see, we have already seen physical unit method, average unit cost method in the previous two videos. Yeah, this in the conceptual video itself. And then we had the second video for this method. Now in this video, as I said, we are covering sales value method. And as you can see over here, we have two types of sales value method, or you can also say market value method. Okay. Sales value at split off point sales value after further processing. Now, both of these will be covered in this video and we'll also have a practical problem with both of these. Is that clear? Easy. So now let's get back to this video and let's understand this sales value method. Now see here, first let's begin with this variant of sales value method, which is sales value at split off point method, or it is also known as sales value at separation point method. Now you'll wonder what we have to do over here and what does this method says? See, it's really simple. This method says that you have to apportion the joint cost in the ratio of total sales value of product at the split off point. That's all you have to do. Let me just you know explain to you this properly what you have to do is first you have to find out what is the total sales value what is the total market value of all the products separately at the split off point what is the total sales value of each of the products at the split off point that is what you have to find out i'm not saying selling price per unit i'm not saying market price no i'm saying total sales value how do you find total sales value simple common sense you just have to take the quantity into selling price per unit okay and both of these things should be of the split off both of these things should be of the split off just multiply that you will get the total sales value of each of these products at the split off point okay and then you have to take the ratio of total sales value and in that ratio you will distribute you will apportion the joint cost for example this 20 lakhs to these joint products okay at the split off point did you get it how you have to do this yes fine so that's what you have to do now see the formula over here properly of total sales value at split off what is the formula quantity produced at split off into selling price per unit at split off what does that mean for example let's just say product a 100 quantity product b uh, 100 quantity product c 200 quantity fine so these are what the quantities quantity produced at split off this is split off stage now so quantity produced at split off into selling price per unit at split off only whatever is the selling price over here per unit of each of these products that you have to take separately and you know just multiply and you will get the total sales value at split off separately of each of the product at the split off point is that clear and then you will take the ratio and in that ratio apportion the joint cost to the joint products at the split off clear simple and you have to understand the objective also properly okay you already know the objective now what is the objective here objective is just to distribute the joint cost to the joint product that is our objective always okay even in this variant and also in the next variant which you are going to see that is after further processing there also the objective is same what is that distributing the joint cost to the joint products at the split off is that clear yes fine so see here the disadvantage of this uh, variant of you know sales value method cannot use if market value or sales value is not available at split off yes you cannot apply this method if you don't know if you don't know what is the sales value over here isn't it because sometimes what will happen sometimes some product you will produce and you know you may not be able to sell that product right here only at the split off stage you might have to further process it and then you will be able to sell yeah this can happen so in this situation this variant cannot be applied because here what do you need you need you know selling price per unit at split off you have to multiply and find out sales value at split off if sales value at split off is only not there at this stage then you cannot apply this method okay that's the problem of this method now this problem is overcome by the next variant of sales value method which we are going to see now see it's really simple see here sales value after further processing sales value after further processing now this 
variant is the you know sister of that variant so it's really simple here the only difference is that you know what you're going to do is you are just going to take the total sales value after further processing that's all that's all you have to do. see here here joint cost is apportioned in the ratio of total sales value of product after after further processing yeah see the formula over here total sales value after further processing is equal to quantity produced after further processing whatever quantities you have produced after further processing you have to take that into final selling price per unit into final selling price per unit what is final selling price per unit here whatever the selling value is there over here after further processing that you will take multiply and you will find out total sales value after further processing and this you have to find out separately of each of the product now this type of thing will not happen you know uh, you know everything will be further processed if that type of question comes okay so you have to find out total sales value after further processing of each of the products yeah and then what you have to do take out the ratio see here in the ratio of total sales value of product after further processing so you have to take out the ratio and in that ratio you will distribute the joint cost to what to here no to joint products at the split off point understand objective is always same what is the objective distributing the joint cost to the joint products at the split off point is that clear why is it like this because understand we know further processing cost separately it is done separately we know that separately yeah we don't know how much of joint cost is apportioned to these guys that is why objective is always same over here apportioning the joint cost to the joint products yeah even though even though we are considering the total sales value of the product after further processing still the objective is same that is distributing this to these guys at the split off okay so when you will take out the ratio of the total sales value after further processing in that ratio you will distribute the joint cost to these guys to the products joint products after the at the split off point is that clear easy now we'll see a problem practical problem and you will see how simple this is this is not difficult it's really simple and straightforward now see the disadvantage over here defect of this uh, is this variant further processing cost of products may not be same in all cases yeah so what can happen is you are further processing these guys right so the further processing cost will not be same it will be different yeah sometime here for them processing will be very low here very high yeah this can happen and you know here what's happening so market values of the products at the final stage market value of the product at the final stage may not be accurate base for apportioning joint cost at the split off point so here what are we doing which ratio are we taking in this in this variant ratio of total sales value of product after further processing yeah this is our base now the total sales value over here this is the base for apportioning the joint cost but as i said as i said this could be different yeah this could be different one is very high one is very low so if that happens then it will be unfair yeah then it will be unfair the cost apportionment will be unfair yeah because the market value does not give you the correct idea regarding you know how much cost has been incurred on these products okay so market value of the product at the final stage may not be accurate base for apportioning the joint cost at the split off point is that clear easy now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the problem and see how practically this is done fine let's go to the problem now see the question over here problem 3 sales value method or it is also known as market value method okay alpha limited operates a chemical process which produces four products p q r n s four products from a basic material and the following information have been given regarding that okay so see here basic raw material 125000 units at rupees 2 so this is the material cost fine initial processing wages how much 150000 initial processing overheads 1 lakh yeah fine so that's given and then see here products pqrs output 10000 20000 30000 40000 selling price per unit at the split off point is given and then selling price per unit after further processing is given yeah two selling prices have been given we are going to use both of that okay and then here we have further processing cost of each of the products but this is not required in this uh, method okay fine and then see what is the requirement of this question show how joint cost 
will be apportioned between P, Q, R and S according to sales value at split off method and sales value after further processing method. It's really simple. Now first understand what is the joint cost over here? Tell me what is the joint cost over here? The joint cost is see here they have given you over here material cost, yeah, labor cost and overheads, isn't it? So just add it up, you will get the joint cost. 1,25,000 into 2, that is equal to 2,50,000 material cost plus wages 1,50,000 plus initial processing overheads 1 lakh, that's equal to 5 lakh. So 5 lakh is your joint cost. Is that clear? Easy. Now let's start off with the first method that is you know first variant of this method sales value at the split off method so see it's really simple how you have to do about this pqrs four columns of the products and a total column okay you have to take the output first 10 20 30 40 10 20 30 40 clear selling price per unit at the split off point selling price per unit at the split off point because because the method is split off point so selling price per unit will be of the split off point right Selling price per unit, the split of point 40, 30, 20, 10, 40, 30, 20, 10. Clear? And then you will just multiply that. Yeah, 10,000 into 40, that is 4 lakh. 20,000 into 30, that is 6 lakh. 30,000 into 20, that is 6 lakh. 40,000 into 10, that is 4 lakh. Yeah? And if you add up all of this, it becomes 20 lakh. Okay? Yes. Then what you're going to do is, what did I say? Once you find out the total sales value of each of the products at the split off point, yeah, isn't it? It's at the split off point, isn't it? Because you have taken the quantity at the split off and also the selling price at split off. So the total sales value is at the split off. Once you get this, what you have to do? You have to find out the ratio. Yeah, take the ratio. How will you take the ratio? Really simple, just cut out all the zeros. The ratio will be 4 is to 6, 6 to 6 is to 4, yeah? 4 plus 6 plus 6 plus 4 is 20. Yes? Yeah. So in that ratio, you will apportion the joint cost. How much is the joint cost? 5 lakh. So right here, 5 lakh in the total. And then just go on apportioning the joint cost to the joint products at the split off. 5 lakh into 4 divided by 20, that is equal to 1 lakh. Okay? And then see here, let me just adjust that. 5 lakh into 6 divided by 20, that is 1 lakh 50,000. And then again, the same thing we have, yeah, same thing, 1,50,000. And then at last, it's 4. So 5 lakh into 4 divided by 20, that is equal to 1 lakh. Clear? This is how you have to, uh, you know, solve with the first variance. Really simple and straightforward. Take the output, selling price per unit at the split off. Both of split off, okay? Output also at split off, selling price per unit also at split off and then find out by multiplying the total sales value at split off and then take the ratio of that and then distribute the joint cost. Is it clear? This is how you have to do this. Fine. Now next let's move on to the next variant. See here sales value after further processing. So here what you have to do here you have to find out total sales value after further processing. How will you find that out? Really simple. Get the output. See here the output 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. Okay get the output 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 and then selling price per unit after further processing selling price per unit after further processing 70, 65, 40, 20 70, 65, 40, 20 see here this is easy 10,000 into 77 lakh 20,000 into 65 see 20,000 into 65 that is equal to 13 lakh 3 for the 12 right so there's 12 lakh yeah 30,000 into 40 that is 12 lakh and then here 40,000 into 20 that is 8 lakh okay and if we add up all of this what is the total sales value of all the products 7 lakh plus 13 lakh plus 12 and 8 lakh so plus 12 and 8 lakh that is equal to 40 lakh okay 40 lakh fine and then what you have to do apportion the joint cost in the ratio of total sales value after further processing isn't it yes so just take out the ratio cut out all the zeros 7 is to 3 13 is to 12 is to 8 yeah 7 is to 13 is to 12 is to 8 and in total that is what 40 yeah see here 7 plus 13 plus 12 just now we did now 
plus 8 that is equal to 40 yeah 40 like 40 okay so just apportion the joint cost how much is the joint cost the same that not change joint cost is same only now yeah this is the joint cost how much is that 5 lakh so just apportion that 5 lakh into 7 over 40 7 by 40 okay that is equal to 87,500 and then next for Q it is 13 that is 1 lakh 62,500 and then 12 yeah 12 for R that is equal to 1 lakh 50,000 and then for S it is 8 right so 8 that means it is 1 lakh so 1 lakh will be for S you see this is how simple it is yeah so 87,500 joint cost has been apportioned to P 162,500 cost joint cost has been apportioned to Q and you know 1 lakh 50 for R 1 lakh for S okay so that's the interpretation did you understand how you have to go about this really simple just take the output and selling price yeah matching ones and then just do it right see quantity produced at split off quantity produced after further processing selling price per unit at split off final selling price that means the selling price after the further processing okay just do that you will get the total sales value in both the cases at split off after further processing in that ratio you have to distribute fine now there's one more way if you don't want to take out the ratio and all what else you can do see here really simple directly also you can do you all know this see here what you can do 7 lakh over 40 okay big numbers 7 lakh over 40,000 directly also you can do sorry not 40,000 40 lakhs my bad 40 lakhs into something into 5 lakh this way also you can do directly 87,500 let me just show you one more 13 lakh divided by 40 lakhs something into 5 lakh that gives you 1 lakh 62,500 okay this way also you have you can do yeah ratios are not required like that directly also you can calculate the same thing is only happening yeah right so that's it yeah you got right how you have to do about this so that's it for this video see you in the next video